Hello class, welcome to lesson three of our topic rocks. Today we'll be looking at weathering of rocks. I am Miss Eugenia Chiaminsa. Let's begin. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the process of weathering of rocks. That's physical and biological weathering. So we have our key terms. Weathering, weathering, breakdown, breakdown, expansion, expansion, contraction, contraction, temperature, temperature, rainfall, rainfall, lichens, lichens, and burrowing, burrowing. So at the end of this lesson, you should familiarize yourself with these words. So when we look at weathering, we are looking at the breakdown of rocks into smaller particles. This breakdown is caused by certain agents. So under this, we have three types of weathering of rocks. So based on how they occur, we have the types of weathering of rocks. So we have the physical weathering, the biological weathering, and the chemical weathering. And when you hear physical, biological, and chemical, I believe you have some idea of how the weathering occurs, right? Very good. So physical, when you hear physical, what comes to mind? Yes, we are looking at the mechanical activity which causes the rock to break down into smaller particles. So if you take a sledgehammer and you strike a rock, that activity is what will cause the rock to break down. So looking at this, we are going to look at agents or processes which cause physical weathering. So for the first factor which causes physical weathering, we have temperature. Now, when the weather is hot or there's an increase in temperature, you realize that rocks tend to expand. Even by nature, there is expansion when heat is applied to an object that is capable of expanding. Yes, the same thing applies to rocks. Now, when the temperatures are high, you find the rock expanding. Also, when the temperature is low, you find the rock contracting. Now, this uneven expansion and contraction is what causes the rock to break apart into pieces. So we have an example of a rock which is broken down as a result of temperature changes. So this is what we mean by temperature affecting a rock. So that uneven expansion and contraction is what will cause the rock to break apart. Now the second, we are looking at water or rainfall. Now when you look at this image, you realize that water has collected in this rock. In the process of the water draining out or leaving, it takes out particles of the rock away. Now over time, if every time it rains, particles of the rock is being drained out, what do you think will happen? Over time, you realize that particles of the rock keep moving out and it will become soft and easily break apart when any little influence or external pressure is applied. Now that is how water or rainfall affects weathering of rocks. Wind also, as the wind blows, it carries along certain particles. Now these particles, you see, as the wind blows, it can easily hit against certain rocks. Now depending on which is heavier or stronger, you realize that there is an impact on that rock. Now if the rock is not that strong, it can break apart because of these external influences hitting against it. So over time you find the wind also causing this weathering to occur. And also geological processes such as earthquakes, earth tremors and the likes also causes weathering of rocks because as the state of the earth is changing the rock also shakes or quivers and that will also cause weathering of the rock to occur now we are going to look at biological weathering now before that when you hear biological what comes to mind bio yes we are looking at life so we are looking at factors which cause weathering of rock which are living in nature so we are looking at action of living organisms on rocks and this will cause it to break down. Now, certain factors which cause biological weathering include human activities. Now, we have this hydro hammer, which is being used to break down this rock. So, you see, as continuous pressure is being applied, you realize over time, the rock will break apart. Also, pressure from enlarging roots of trees and shrubs. See, as plants grow, whatever is in their way becomes an obstacle, right? Yes. So, it's either the plant can overcome that obstacle or the plant dies. Now, if the plant is able to overcome this obstacle, this is what is likely to occur if this obstacle is a rock. So you realize that the plant is able to penetrate through the rock and cause breakage of the rock. Now, this is how the plant can cause biological weathering of rocks. Also, we are looking at certain biological factors also, such as lichens and mosses, which grow on top of rocks. 
Lichens refer to a symbiotic association between a fungi and an algae. Now, this association is like that. The algae and the fungi have decided to live together as one. Now, the algae provides food for them, and then the fungi provides protection for them. So they are living together. Now, it's called symbiosis, a mutualistic symbiosis. They've agreed. Mutual. Yes. So this lichen, they thrive on these rocks. Now, you see, as they live on these rocks, there are certain minerals which the lichens may need in the rock. So as they continue to take this nourishment from the rock, they tend to cause disintegration of the rock since they will be taking out minerals and in the process they will be disintegrating the rock. Also, when we look at certain activities of certain animals such as rats, we have moles and the likes, even millipedes, ants and the rest. You see, because of their burrowing action, their digging habits, they tend to dig tunnels and holes in the soil and in rocks. Now, this also causes weathering of rocks. I believe this has been very understandable. This brings us to the end of our lesson for today. For today, we looked at the processes of weathering of rocks. We looked at the two types. There is another type we'll look at in our next class. We looked at physical and biological weathering. I hope this has been very understandable for you. Very good. Now for your assignment, you are to explain what is meant by weathering of rocks and also explain how each of the following causes physical weathering. We have temperature, water, wind. So you explain all this. Thank you so much for your attention and have a great week. Thank you.